In 2007, Cartoon Network decided to make a live-action Ben 10 movie. Ben 10 Race Against Time. It was... A movie. And then in 2009, to coincide with the sequel to their biggest series, they made a sequel to their biggest movie, Ben 10 Alien Swarm. Naturally, being a big fan of Ben 10 and Race Against Time, I couldn't wait to watch it. We are workers. We live to obey. Well, you must be employee of the month. Okay, I'm gonna need some help for this one. Oh, jeez, what the... Oh, hey! Kuro the Artist, welcome! Are you ready for this? You bet! Okay, let's do this. My childhood is at stake here. We begin this movie with some epic shots of Kevin's car, just so you know how epic this movie is going to be. And this is our Kevin. Yes! And then enter Kevin's arch nemesis, Motorcycle Guys, as they enter... Is this a drug deal? You the buyer? Depends. What are you selling? Are we watching a drug deal in a kid's movie? The good stuff. This is a friggin' drug deal. You want these space drugs or not? Much paint. <laughs> paint? This car looks like it's made of green plastic. Maybe it's just the shade of green, but this car looks like they took one of the old Alien Force toys and slapped a pin particle on it to make it grow. So then the real star of the show arrives. Gwen. I am. Ben Zetter. You're working with him? Actually, I'm working with her. I swear, this whole freaking movie is just one attempt at a dramatic reveal to another. Kevin doesn't really work, he just stands around flexing his muscles. Yeah, how about I flex him in your face? Yeah, I love this movie already. Grade 9 tech at least. Whatever they are, they're screwing up the Omnitrix. Not even five minutes into this movie and we already have to deal with Ben's Omnitrix spazzing out. It's like they want this movie to be bad. They're plumbers. And we're here to deal with your shit. How did you learn about these plumbers you think we are? Yeah, real nice bench, you'll never suspect it now. How do you know about these plumbers, which we are not, by the way? Elena? No way. Oh, you- <laughs> Look at that eye roll. Even Gwen knows how freaking goofy all of this unearned drama is. Elena? Hello, can anyone toss me a clue as to what's going on here? Thank you, Kevin, what the fuck is happening? The girl introduces herself as Elena, daughter of Victor Valdez, who was a plumber. And she explains to Ben that he's recently gone missing and she needs Ben's help to find him. As the cameraman zooms out, because even he understands that no one cares about what's happening here, it's revealed to the audience that once you browse with Google Chrome's incognito mode, Google Chrome starts to browse you. Wait, is that my fifth grade PE teacher? <laughs> Wait, your PE teacher can shoot robot bugs out of his hands? Could yours not? I swear it, I just wanted your help. Don't look too close in your little dysfunction, so... See, even he doesn't want to be in this movie. So, the villain in this film is a bunch of sentient guitar chips. A virus breaks through the firewall and starts attacking their files. So the team have to work together to delete the exposed browser history, forcing Ben to transform into one of the only three aliens in this movie, Big Chill. Big Chill actually looks pretty awesome. Cartoon Network obviously learned from their mistakes. Pity we traded the CG for the acting, though. Are you alright? Yeah! Why are the sound effects for his wings so loud? Is he ripping the air with a pool noodle to make himself fly? Dude, Big Chill is creepy as shit in real life. I don't like it. Those limbs are way too skinny. I don't like it. Ben freezes the server, causing everything to crash. But during all of the commotion, Elena escapes. Oh, God! So then the gang heads to their secret plumber HQ, located in the back of the car repair shop. Right. Why sell alien tech on the black market just to find the plumbers when her father used to be one? She said that something happened to her dad back when they lived here and we weren't told the truth about it. Damn, Ben is one tall 15 year old. Ben, did you ask Grandpa Max if we could use the comp center? You mean you drove all the way here, walked inside, went in the elevator, and only just now want to know if you had permission? Epic hacking montage, yeah! Man, I'm liking these less and less. Well, they were alive, kind of. Unlike the acting in this movie. Well, maybe I can jumpstart an energy pulse from the slag, but it would take forever and be a total pain in the- Total pain in the what, Kevin? Pain in the PG rating? Evidently, I can't trust anyone. I can't even trust Max. Crush me to do what? Oh god, he's here. Hey, Grandpa. We can't trust you to make soup without putting baked moss or lizard gizzards in it. Sounds like a pretty good combo. Not to nitpick, but the casting for this movie appearance-wise has been surprisingly good so far. Except Max. I think they just let some old guy walk on set and then they just went with it. Then it turns out they have an invader in the base and Max is taking no chances. Oh god, he's got a gun! The gang gear up for Google Chrome's second wave of updates. 
but it turns out just to be one of his plugin extensions, Elena. Max, who has switched over to Microsoft Edge a few months ago, is pretty unhappy to see her, and threatens to uninstall her ability to breathe by holding a gun to her face. Max explains that he really, really doesn't like Elena because he really, really doesn't like her dad because he didn't really, really like Plumber Protocol, which Max really, really likes. Max, Elena was the one who set up the sale of those weird chips. It's my father. He's been kidnapped by whoever or whatever made those chips. What? Yeah, I was talking about chips. Okay, I'm sufficiently stumped. What's going on here? And Gwen summarizes the plot of this movie. Victor Validus was the best plumber I ever trained. You know, between Phil Billings, Constantine Jacobs, and Devin Levin, Max has had a horrible track record for ex-partners. Maybe they're not the problem? That's why we are going to analyze those chips and take care of this crisis by the book. I am not gonna boot up this whole operation on the word of that one girl. And get off my damn lawn! <laughs> what operation? Five minutes ago you came up here with your creepy old man suit and had no idea what was going on. Don't act like you're on top of things here, Maxie. You got a bicycle hanging from your ceiling. I order you to stay away from her. You're not my dad. And now for some variety. Motorcycle shot. Yeah, so what's the four on one on those two? Elena was Ben's first crush. Except when he met that furry in New Mexico. What was her name again? She was the only girl on his soccer team in middle school and Ben couldn't kick a ball in a straight line when she was around. <laughs> yes! Romance subplot, yes! I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, he's all grown up now and everything. What state do they live in where being 15 years old is grown up and can drive a motorcycle? Google Chrome continues to carry out his devious plans from behind the scenes, overwhelming helpless users with so many ads they become mindless consumers of their product. Meanwhile... After a whopping 40 seconds of vehicle shots, Ben and Elena investigate her dad's laboratory. That's a good girl. Bring him here to us. Nope, not into it, now. nope! What was he doing here? He was studying the chips. Bolt! <laughs> Father Chrome becomes aware of this breach and sends a wave of pop-ups containing fake news, children's media, and healthcare benefits to cover his tracks. Who are you? Move out of the way, Bill Gax! <laughs> the new best Ben 10 villain is here! We want you to meet the Queen. And we would love to do that, but all that bowing and curtsying, I don't think so. Yeah, nailed it. And so, of course, in Ben's time of need, the Omnitrix stuff's up. And somewhere at Cardinal Network, the budget manager breathes a sigh of relief. We made it another day, boys. We can keep the car shots. Ben's pop-up blocker is too out of date to counter this, so they fight back the long way. Hey, Ben, I've come to help you. Oh, God, why? Xing them out one by one until Ben installs a new one. Are you ever going to let that Google Chrome joke go? No. Ben's updates finish installing and is able to build a firewall so big it disables every pop-up in a small radius. Yeah, that's how the Omnitrix works. Sure. But this only works for a few seconds before the director realizes that they haven't been riding a vehicle in the past five minutes, so they both hop on Ben's bike and escape. Hey, not bad. Not great either, come on! Hey, not bad. Not great either. A Ben 10 Alien Swarm review. Anyway, back to the best characters in the movie. <laughs> look at these funky little animated icons they have on display, trying to look high tech. Uh, hey Kevin, this screen isn't playing back the audio correctly. Well, did you try clicking the blue dog toy? Yeah, twice. What about the green cube with the slightly smaller green cube in it? Oh, of course! <laughs> I should have realized what that did. Those chips, they're a threat. They're planning something. That is a lie! They're dead! The lab boys say they're nothing but alien tech. No threat at all. Really? Your lab full of trained professional employees couldn't figure out that these chips were alive, but a bunch of college kids posing as teenagers could in the first 12 minutes of the film? Kevin, you did it. The cheek. I find all the big, bad alien chips and all I get is a kiss on the cheek. Well, gee, Kev, if you're that desperate, go watch the third season of Shameless. Kira, no! I like money! So because Kevin and Gwen need to be important too, they go investigate the ship at building for leads. We drove all the way out here again. Did you really drive here though? Because there wasn't an excessive amount of car shots before this, so it's kind of hard to believe. Kevin, what do you think it means? It means we're at least one step behind something disturbingly huge. You know what else is disturbingly huge? This movie's budget. May I help you? Um, hi, we just had a few questions. Ship it is closed right now. 
Please return during regular business hours. Yep, nothing suspicious about that. I'm gonna have to insist. Your desires are irrelevant. That's what the crew told all the Ben 10 fans when they wanted to see more aliens in this movie. The Queen's will supersedes all. Well, tell your Queen to supersede this. And then Kevin murders an innocent man. Before Ben and Gwen could figure out why Google is attempting to distribute its new platform to the entire world, a stray pop-up ad alerts Father Chrome to send out one of its new updates. Google Mobile, capable of taking its terrorizing monopoly to the street at 20 gigs of data for only $42.99 a month. You're just straight up advertising at this point. Okay, these chips are now officially an issue. Kuro, guess what time it is? Mark dot time! Oh. Never mind. I don't know who's behind all this, but they're gonna fix my car! Just when they think they've escaped, the Google car arrives to permanently document their dead bodies on the map as an easter egg for bored introverts to find while browsing Google Earth. But here comes motorcycle shot, I mean Ben, to save the day. And it's here, half an hour into the movie, that we finally get our second alien transformation. Hidden in the dark, this all. Facing off against his greatest adversary, Ball. With spikes! You know, it's been so long in this movie since we've last seen Ben transform, I almost forgot he could do it. Ben defeats the ball by hitting them with Kevin's car and... That's it. Well, I guess you could say that fight was a humongous bore, right? <laughs> So then they head back to the base to make a plan, and Max is just as cheerful as ever. Where in the Sam Hill has everybody been? It turns out that Father Chrome's newfound mean power has enough influence to spread its empire globally, and Max is struggling to keep up with the times, yet still ignores Ben's intentions and does not trust him. Max, I- We can settle our problems later. This guy is pretty much the opposite of the Grandpa Max we know from the cartoon in just about every way. He can't even get the color of his shirt right! And she stays in the brig. Damn, Max cannot lighten up around this woman. Every loving bone in his body has been consumed by the dark vortex of hate in his eyes. He looks at her with such disgust that her mere presence sends him into a mental rage fueled by revolting choices in soup. Combo. It just happened. And no one who isn't me knows how that feels. I think I do. Just kiss already! So then we get some more scenes of them planning, and a little bit of character development, and nothing really exciting happens this time in the film. Ah, oh, no, not again! You can't break plumber ranks, Benji! So it turns out, the chips have possessed Max. Max! We have to restrain him, but be careful not to- <sighs> Sounds like we're in for a road trip. What do you mean, we? <sighs> Come on, we're 50 minutes into the movie and we're still doing this? Look, either trust her or don't, I don't really care. I just want to see Ben turn into an alien. That's what we're here for! <laughs> oh my gosh, Kevin. Car shot! Car shot! Car shot! Car shot! Humongous would be happy to throw the card in Missouri. I will say, I admire the fact that Kevin and Gwen are now in their Season 3 outfits, while previously showing them in their Season 1 and 2 outfits, allowing this movie to bridge some time between Seasons 2 and 3 of the show, giving it a definitive placement in the canon timeline, especially since this movie is canon as of Ultimate Alien, but that's a whole other discussion. Wow, good eye, I didn't even notice that. I was too busy focusing on the fact that our final battle was going to take place in a shipping company. Mm -hmm. The gang realize that in order to stop Father Chrome once and for all, they need to go to the heart of the operation, and head straight to Google headquarters to take out the devious CEO. Are you done? Ill-prepared for the amount of money this company makes as they've hired the best of the best security, they use their most tactical stealth maneuver of screen transitioning into them somehow getting past all the guards. <laughs> what is this movie? <gasps> Dr. Octopus? I knew it. I told you not to trust her. It's not like that. You knew your father was behind this the whole time. You said you didn't know that guy. Oh my god. And then we get another wonderful argument scene that goes on for way okay? too father, long. At least this time it gets them caught. The queen is inside of my dad. Hey, that's progressive. So Ben's plan to stop the alien queen is to do that thing that he's really good at. Kinda of forgot what it was though. But Gwen and Kevin worry about him getting taken over by the hive like poor old Max. If I stop the queen before she can activate them, it looks like we have a chance of beating this thing. Wait a minute. What do we do if Alien X or Humongous War gets absorbed by the hive? It's all over. Wait, Alien X? Aliens exist in this movie? 
I wouldn't know, considering we haven't seen one for 90% of the film. And we get our third and final alien transformation. This guy. You mean Nanomech. Yeah, he wasn't looking too good in this movie. Hey, they needed money for car shots. You must obey. You're one of us now, Ben Tennyson. Oh, okay. That's the queen. Kuro, Kuro, what was the budget for this movie? 40 million dollars. 40 million dollars. 40 million, Kuro. Listen to my voice. Oh god, it's you disgusting! Ah! You can tell this is a truly epic battle because it's so dark that I have absolutely no idea what's going on. And through the power of determination and friendship, Ben kills the queen and fixes all of the movie's problems. Yay! Grandpa! You've got a lot of gall. Disobeying orders, defying my authority. Rabbi. You know what that kind of behavior gets you? And if you ever do that again, you little shit, I will personally escort you to hell. And then they all lived happily ever after. But not before one last car shot! Ben 10 Alien Swarm is a cinematic masterpiece that made back its budget a million times and sent Cartoon Network into an era of fantastic cartoon- oh. Uh, I'd give this movie a 0 out of 10 that aliens didn't even swarm. Despite how much crap we've given this movie, I'll admit, I love it. It's got cartoon accuracy, it's got car shots, it's got max. The only question is, where is my ultimate alien movie? And what about Race Against Time, you ask? Well, Kuro and I already made a video over on his channel, so... What the hell are you doing? Go check it out. Thanks for having me on your channel, Diamond Bolt. I really appreciate it, and these videos were a lot of fun to put together. I do have a YouTube channel, but I'm mainly known for my art, so if you go to curlthewebsite.com, you can check out all of my latest stuff. Until then, keep it fizzy. Massive thank you to Kuro the Artist for joining me on this Ben 10 live-action journey. It was an honor to work with him on this project and enjoy these glorious... Glorious movies. And yeah, if you haven't seen our video over on Kuro's channel, definitely be sure to check that one out as well because it has Batman in it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.